Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ritnika and this is Natural Vibrations. This is a love and general reading for all Capricorns for the month of December 2017. If Please understand that this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. If you wish to book a private reading, you can log on to my website naturalvibrations.in or you can email me at naturalvibrationsindia.com. You can um, also check out your sun, moon and rising sign to get a better and clearer picture of what is going on with you. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. Alrighty. So I'm just going to jump right in. I've got your general cards, your love life and, over, and additional advice or guidance. <clears throat> I'm going to just read out the cards first and then put them all together. You've got storm fields. Mountain. Into the unknown and unexpected visitors. So what I'm seeing is that you might be faced in December or from now until December with unexpected situations. You know, things may not be going as planned. Maybe people, you know, especially this time during holiday times, you might run into people you don't really want to run into. You might... Um, come into situations you weren't expecting, you know. So I feel like you guys might be, you know, things might be coming up that you weren't really expecting. You might run into people you didn't want to or, you you know, you're faced in a situation that you just don't want to. And when you're going through that, that is sort of causing you, that is feeling like, like a block. The mountain is sort of like an obstacle. So while this situation or these people have come into your life, it's sort of causing a blockage of some kind for you. You may feel like you can't move forward. You're feeling confused. You're feeling stuck. And what the universe is saying is that you've got to be like this river over here. I don't know if you can see it. When a river tries to go through a mountain, it doesn't try to push it. It kind of goes around it really smoothly by taking the easy way out. And the universe is saying that right now when you are going through this period, you need to sort of take the easy way out and understand what lessons is trying to uh, trying to create and move forward. It's also saying that there it might be like a storm brewing, like something is building up inside that needs to be released. This could be anger, this could be frustration, this could be anything. And there is like a sort of like a storm brewing. Don't try to hold it back. Sometimes you just need to like release what you're feeling inside so you can get through it and move on to a better phase of your life. Holding on to negative emotions, holding on to deep hurt and fast feelings does not help. It actually uh, ends up making you physically sick as well. So what the universe is saying is that if you're feeling that, that right now you might be coming across situations that are stirring up things inside which you've been which you've been holding on to and they've been bubbling up, let them go. Release them. Get them out because once sometimes you know a storm is not always a good thing a bad thing sorry once you get out of the storm situation it can lead you to a uh, to a to a much better place for example uh, a storm helps get rain to farmers and that helps grow you know the crops so it's not always a bad thing so you do need to let go so if you feel like somebody new has shown up and you're like oh my god this is such a blockage how could they do this why is this happening to me and you have all these old feelings coming up express them let them out you don't have to say it to them you can say it to yourself however it is you gotta let it go out so that you can actually feel better sometimes releasing you know, sometimes you feel so much better after crying. That's what this energy is. And if you feel that there are blockages, you will get through them if you take the easy way out. You don't need to fight against it. And the into the unknown card is basically saying that as you're going through this, you are afraid. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know how things are going to turn out. But that is the beauty of it. That things can always turn for you and magically work out for you. You know, you are sort of going into the unknown right now, but everything has its purpose and everything has its place. So if these blockages are coming up, if old patterns, old issues are cropping up, they're cropping up because you need to release them. And once you release them, only then you can move forward. And that is what is going on. You need to sort of 
take a leap of faith and trust that everything will work out for you that all of this is coming because something bigger is is happening that you can't see yet and it will be clear sooner or later so while you're facing this just sort of don't be afraid just go through it and be like you know what this is what I feel. I've been holding this for so long. I just want to let it out and you'll feel so much better after that. And just take a leap, just trust that everything will work itself out. When it comes to your love life in December, we've got healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this could also kind of go back to the top section where maybe the issues that are prop propping up might have something to do with past relationships or family situations, you know, because, you know, holiday times and wedding times and Christmas time, you end up seeing a lot of family and some shit might get stirred up again that will make you go into sort of like a dark night of the soul situation where you're feeling all those past emotions. Somebody might have done something to you or said something to you. And you never fully got to resolve that and that might crop up as well so maybe that is what's going on and you sort of just need to release that you know that hurt that feeling anger whatever it is you're holding on to the next card you got is heart to heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other flirt extend your light-hearted energies to others and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from the one that you are expecting Okay, so like I said, this could also, your love life is coming as, to me what it's seeming as is that you might have been trying to make things happen with somebody and things were not working out and a lot of it could be with past issues that haven't that that have been holding you back which is what is help you know stemming from this maybe you you know you're trying to move forward from a really in a relationship but there's some stuff that's happened in the past that is holding you back or some stuff that has happened in your childhood that is holding you back and not really letting you truly commit to your partner so what is telling you is you need to start healing those past issues whether it's to do with that person or just generally in your life and then also to have heart to heart conversations with your significant other tell them how you're feeling and what's really going on and then sort of be more light hearted about it you know we we take life so seriously and i love quoting this um this line from the movie where it says if you take um if you take life too seriously you'll never get out alive Sometimes you don't need to be so serious about it. Nothing is the be all and end all. Things can always magically change. So be more lighthearted about the situation and keep an open mind. You never know how things will turn around. You never know what will work out and what won't. Don't be like, okay, this has happened to me in the past or they've done this to me in the past and it'll never work out. So why even give it a try? No, talk to them. Be lighthearted, understand, express your views to them. And who knows what will work out and who knows how things will work out. Be open-minded. The other thing I can also get is that if you are trying to sort of find a partner, you can, uh, It again, the reason you may not be able to find somebody that you truly want to connect with is because you have some past issues you need to heal. This could be in your family. This could be issues of self-love, self-worth. Whatever it is, maybe you need to heal that and sort of have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your family member, whoever's, you know, whoever's held you back. Or, I apologize for the train. Or it could be that it's holding you. Wow. Okay, the trains are clearly talking to each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going to give it a second. <clears throat> Normally they're not so loud, but I guess they knew I was recording, so they had to be loud. So it's telling you that you can also have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself, with your higher self, you know, digging deep within and understanding what is really holding you back. And then flirt. Flirt with new people. Keep an open mind. Sometimes we're so rigid about the kind of person we need to be with that we're not opening ourselves to something even better. So be flirty and open your mind, open your heart, and just give people a shot. Go out on dates. You don't have to do anything. But you can always just go out on dates and see how things turn out. From the crystal card, you've got Golden Healer, which is beautiful. And it says, Ultimate Healing. Golden Healers are magical stones imbued with powerful transformative healing energies. Infused with enormous amount of chi or ki, they are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation, bringing Christ consciousness down to earth. 
Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses and expanded by a sixth, metaphysics. But this sixth sense can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local. Everywhere and nowhere at once. A field where there is no time and you create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. So again, it's telling you that when you're going through this stuff, there is major healing going to happen. Once you release all that stuff you've been holding on to, there is going to be major healing. And then understand where you're coming from. Is it Are you letting your ego self take control or is it your heart that is leading it? Recognize that you have a potential to be an amazing leader. Your natural abilities needed honing and wounded healers are soul scoured to develop empathy. Much in your life may need transforming. If so, surrender willingly to the process of restoring balance and reconnecting to the divine. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. So if someone, see this person coming could be somebody from your past who wants to pull you back. Like could be an ex trying to pull you back. And you're like, no, I don't want this anymore. This person made me feel blah, blah, blah. And I need to not feel that way. And I need to release that. And then if you are feeling that, release it. Feel the emotions and like understand what you need to learn from this and let go. From the, ten, num, from the Oracle of the Vision, we've got um, number 10. This is basically knowledge, research, uh, being prepared, etc. What it says is, part of the process of assessing a situation is, to you, is the use of intuition and psychic gifts. But some circumstances may merit a more analytic approach. Being better informed and armed with a greater understanding of the facts and background to any situation might provide a stronger basis from which to make better decisions. So when something is cropping up, maybe definitely rely on your intuition, but maybe it's time to also get some facts in place. What's actually going on? What is that person or that situation's motive, you know? It appears that the character in this scene has dedicated the necessary due diligence and is armed with a substantial amount of information. But there is a question of how much, maybe too much. One can become overwhelmed and tied down in the detail, suffocated by the volume of unnecessary diversions, at the risk of overanalyzing and not seeing the forest through the trees. So the other thing, other side of this is warning you is that, of course, observe things as they are, but don't get so bogged down with the physical world and you're like, oh my God, all of this is happening. This is all going to lead to a disaster. It's never going to work out for me. And what the universe is saying is sometimes you just need to let go and not be so overthinking and in your mind. Don't, the mind is the ego mind. It starts coming up with the weirdest scenarios and you need to sometimes let go. Sometimes we can't be so in our minds. Sometimes we have to just trust our soul and believe in what our gut is telling us, not to let the ego mind, you know, take control. So, so Capricorn, I understand that this is going to be a tough month, but it will lead you to something absolutely beautiful. You, this is the process you need to take. There's a, you know, I've done a, quite a few monthly readings so far and everybody's going through transformation. I feel it's just the energies. Mercury is going to go to retrograde. So people are going to come from the woodwork that, you know, situation from the past might come back. It's okay. It's supposed to happen and you're not alone. I hope this resonated with you. I will now see you in the new year. Happy holidays. Take care.